Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Admiral's Dreadnoughts. This is one of the few games that we're also going to be playing more often, like the previous video, uh, uh, Hell at Loose. But this one, this one's uh, totally different, so yeah. So, if you don't know what Ultimate Admiral's Dreadnoughts is, it's basically Kerbal Space Program meets battleships and destroyers and cruisers and battle cruisers. Pretty much every large surface vessel that's been used in war so except for aircraft carriers sorry but yeah so this game uh i forgot when it came out but it's it's currently in like beta it's not yet in uh on the steam store so if you want to buy this game you're going to have to shed like 40 dollars off uh, to get this uh game and uh you can play it get all the updates until it's finally on the steam store then you can i think download it on steam and they'll tell you how to when it does but until then uh yeah you have to buy it like this so ultimate admirals dreadnoughts i got this game whenever the quad gun turrets came out which everyone loves but yeah i really do like this game and i'm not gonna be showing off like oh it's you know the super ships or anything yet those are going to come in next uh videos well, we'll start making ships that were never made or were made but never saw any battles. So until then, we're going to do this. Uh, search and destroy. This is one of my most favorite missions and we'll build a new ship. All right, so <laughs> this is the ship designer. So uh, what we're going to be needing to design is uh, a ship that is slightly faster than uh, some old battleships, but we're going to design an older dreadnought that can take out even older dreadnoughts um yeah we're basically intercepting some old dreadnoughts and they have a small fleet so what we need is actually guns with decent range we need high speeds we got it to maximum displacement so i guess we'll start out with uh all the components and stuff and then we'll add on all the uh the special things so yeah I'm going to keep these uh, hole thickness and everything. Maybe we can add on from it. So let's start with engines, with geared turbines, use oil, oil's a little lighter, uh, balanced boilers. We're going to have, I think, a two auxiliary engine and shaft three. The will take uh, top of the line Krupp armor, which is a little bit lighter. Barbette two, anti torques two double hull, reinforced bulkheads 1, anti-flooding 2, and citadel 3. We'll get super heavy shells, standard ammunition. We aren't going to be using that much torpedoes. We'll take high TNT, make it electric hydro uh, turrets. Mm. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll take auto. Uh, the torpedoes don't matter. So, range finders. We'll get maximum range finders, three acoustics, and advanced radio. So, yeah, that's everything that we got. So, now we'll up the speed to... Can we do 24 knots? We'll have few... Standard... We'll choose the bulkheads in a bit. So, this is the hole that we're working with. I guess we can choose our main tower now. So... And we'll choose this tower. So we'll put it here. And then we'll choose this tower. We'll put it... Can we choose another tower? Mm, that one's a little too long. So then the funnels. We'll get tall funnels. Normal tall funnels. And then, all right, so the main gun. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking 14 inch, two 14 inch dual barrel guns. Yeah. And then two 14 inch quad barrel guns, like the King George V class. Yeah, that should work. Uh, oh, we're nearing, we're nearing our maximum uh, displacement. So I guess we'll then do the we got yeah, I guess we keep that armor hmm 
Alright, so the secondaries, uh, which are going to be our casemates. Yeah, we'll try to fill all these suckers up. Ooh, just a little. I guess we'll take the belt down to 13 flat, and same with the belt extensions. We'll take it down to 2. Conning will stay that. Or that's the deck extension, sorry. Uh, we'll keep... We'll throw the belt down to 5.5. And we'll put the deck extensions to 5... Oh, well, that doesn't work. Okay, then. Uh, so... Can we throw any top deck secondary guns? Mm, say, like, some 5-inchers. Ooh, just a bit. Um... Take auxiliary engine one. Yeah, that'll that'll lighten the load just a bit. Hmm. I don't think we truly need those. Uh, I guess we can do two single-barreled eight-inchers right there, and then we'll have forced inverters. Okay, that's okay. It's been a while. Because, uh. I don't want to bring down the flood that much. We got standard everything almost. Maybe semi-auto reloading turrets. That'll be better. Yep, that looks about it. So, can we up our speed? Yeah, we'll keep it at 24.5. So then I guess we can up the armor. Nope, not there. Not there either. On the conning tower we can. But the turrets... Ooh, almost. Uh, let's keep a 12-inch thick conning tower, but okay. 10.5-inch thick turret. Mm. Oh, come on. It's right there. It's the exact weight. Okay, fine then. We'll put it at 12.5. So, advanced radios. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty much a decent ship. We got 8-inch guns, 14-inch guns, and pretty decent armor. It's been restricted, but yeah, this will definitely... They're 14-inch guns, so, I mean, it's great. All right. Let's take her out. All right. So, we got two destroyers as escorts, so that's what we're looking for. We are the Spaniards. They are the Germans. Who would have thought? And yet, we're running that Chinese flag. So, uh, let's up it. 30 times speed, they were spotted southwest, which is all the way back there. Right there. Now they were spotted directly south, which straighten back up. Oh, they were spotted southeast. Jesus. Alright, so now we're getting near them. straighten out overall I think that we built a pretty damn good ship it ain't no King George uh, class with the you know quad style we got that King George class quad style but oh we're getting fired upon close but no cigar hoo 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 we're getting real close. Mm. Alright, there we go. So we got a whole broadside, I think, on them. Just about. These eight inches are open up. Hopefully, the fourteen inches can at least hit those ships. It's getting a little closer, yeah. Ooh, hit the bow. 
didn't hurt it. I mean, we lost 1% in terms of structure, but we're fine. And we're on fire. There's are those destroyers. Uh, they hit us on our belt, we're fine. Uh, we caught that little BB, that little BB, the uh, destroyer on fire. Fire torps at us. I doubt that we can outrun them. Be close. And. Oh, right at the stern. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, we sort of been Bismarcked. Oh, turn the other way. Keep turning that way. Oh, geez. I think we might have bit off more than we can chew getting this close to him. Knots. At least we're close, and that means that we can destroy the enemy. Alright, let's straighten back up. hitting that enemy battleship uh, we're listing a good bit um, but we're still afloat it's only our stern that's been flooded Another two. Not. Right. Turn the other way. No, no, no. Never mind. Oh, geez. Focus back on the BBs. Or that one. That one's hurt. Destroyed one casemate. Lucky shot. Lucky. I say, we're really close to him. So let's line back up. So we got this, uh, the Dutchland. I bet you that's not the World War II one. Yeah, battleships are really good in this game. If you design them real well. And, uh, they're perfect for knocking out a whole fleet. Until the enemy decides to throw a bunch of torpedoes and DDs at you. She's flooding. Sean Horse is flooding. What she got? She has 14-inch guns too. 
thickest part of our armor is 16 inches. Look at the shells just bouncing off her. Pink. Oh, they made a very thick ship. <laughs> Let's slow this down. Oh, look at it. It just bounced off. Look at it. It just... Wow. She's angled really well. I'll give her that much. That stupid 16 inch thick belt armor that she has. And here we are running 13 inch thick belt armor. I guess we gotta get a good angle on it and speed back up. Oh. I think she stopped. Alright, we got a good angle on her. Let's see if uh, we can sink her, or better yet, set her ammunition off. Ooh, got one of her main guns. She's dead in the water, I think. Another shield just bounced off. Yep, she flooded. Oh! Yep, yeah, that's that's the game. You build some amazing stuff and well this happens. But yeah, if y'all do decide that y'all more of Ultimate Admiral's Dreadnoughts, go ahead, give it a like. Uh go ahead and comment. I'm think I'm really wanting to do more with this game because uh there's a few ship designs that were only drawn out on paper and uh, have never actually been uh, tested and I would like to test it out in this game because you can you can sort of uh, make the ships exactly to how they were drawn up or hell you can even make some made up weird ships uh, crazy destroyers that were like that can go like 50 knots and have nothing but torpedoes or hell build a there's videos of this where some dude built a Yamato and covered the entire top deck with torpedoes and it just wrecked the enemy ship. I mean, granted he also added on like a million inches of armor, not not literally, but I guarantee you it probably was up to 25 to 30 inches of steel for the belt. But I mean, there's there's some crazy things that you can definitely do in this game and I'm really wanting to test out all the uh never never built in blueprint uh blueprint blueprint battleships that, you know, just never were built so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video i know it was a little bit short but you know this is sort of one of the many other things that i'm really wanting to do so yeah if y'all did enjoy it go ahead and like and if y'all want to catch up on some of my other videos go ahead visit the channel and if y'all like that go ahead and subscribe so yeah thank you all and have a great day